Um, I had a friend that uh, actually was a Creek Connections worker like I am. And he was he went to Creek Connections right through high school. He did it in college, and he still kind of helps out um, now that he's graduated. There's there are a lot of kids that um, don't get out in the creek a lot, and it's really exciting when we get to work with especially kids from Pittsburgh, where there's a lot of urban area, not a lot of appreciation for the outdoors. And so when we get to show them the crazy things that we find in the creek that they normally wouldn't um, see or, or or know are there. It's really exciting, yeah. Okay. Right, so overall, should we be able to find things living in the creek? Yes. You ready? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. that's crazy. what they're here for. <laughs> Let's go look at the things. <laughs> All right, so um, a few, I guess we need to talk to them about kick nuts and how to use the kick nuts. So Creek Connections, schools that participate all year long, choose a creek that's in their community. They choose at least one site on that creek. Some choose more than one site. They return to that site about once a month through the school year. And the idea is that they're testing chemically that water throughout the school year, hopefully looking at other things too. So we talk to them about biological testing and help with that. We look at physical parameters, <clears throat> but they get to see how the creek changes as the seasons change in Western Pennsylvania. And also if there are any changes that happen because of something happening in their community. We've had a lot of changes going on around here. Construction is one of the biggest ones that we have, but we also have the hurricanes that come through and cause intense flooding and really change what their creek even looks like. Now we have things like the natural gas world that's coming in and doing things too. Is it making a change? Well, how do you know if you don't have baseline data? So here we're trying to get all of that. We're trying to just educate students about their part in the creek health and how important it is to have healthy waterways and how their community impacts that and, and why it's important and what they need to do. So. Okay. so it's a lot more siltier and dirtier up here and down there. Oh, some, yeah. <laughs> Let me get my shoe That's like so small. Yeah. Okay. Um, whether it's actually the AP kids or the environmental science or the honors environmental science students, um, even if they don't come out here, they need to learn in class about the importance of our water resources, um, freshwater resources, as well as how to maintain the health of our watersheds. And a lot of students just aren't familiar with that. And I truly believe that th this generation of our kids are going to have to deal with these and become voting citizens on these types of matters that my generation probably isn't going to have to deal with too much and never had to think about in school. So it's really important to educate these students and just make them aware of where's the water come from, where's the water come from to make your food that you get in the grocery store, how do we keep it safe, what can we do at our homes um, to keep it from getting polluted. Um, it's not just about companies that are polluting the water, but it's the things that we do on a daily basis. Um, and what are the important parameters for water chemistry that we need to be able to monitor and follow um, to maintain that resource.